Hi guys, Tina here with Tina's Inspired Art. Welcome back. Um, we're here to do another fluid acrylic Dutch pour today. Um, I have flooded my canvas with my base white paint. I went ahead and popped my bubbles. I think I'm gonna do the popping of the bubbles just one more time and then we'll get started. I'm just using this embossing gun actually to pop the bubbles. Works really good without using a flame on my house paint that I have as a base. So I'd rather not use the live flame um, when I'm doing this type of a pour. So let's get started. Today I'm gonna to be using uh, for my first layer, my Pebeo um, Studio Acrylics, this, um, it's a black blue color. Um, and I'm going to follow it with uh, various colors of kind of green, yellows, and a touch of pink in there so let's get started today right away and um we'll see what happens we'll see if we like it I want this layer to be fairly rich since it is my first layer. Put a nice coat of that on there. Composition looks pretty good. Um, yeah, let's see what else. I'm gonna go in with this one is Arteza, kind of a lime green. Got a little clog here, so generally I just have to take out that dried paint that kind of stuck on there. I'd have to take a pick to get that out. And all you have to do is find like a kind of a long skewer stick to um, get that dried paint out of there, out of the tip. Let's see if that did it. This one here is kind of a metallic um, lime green. Works well with that kind of a blue black as my first layer. I'm gonna follow it with a nice bright yellow. I'm hoping this one's gonna be nice and bright. That's what I'm going for today. Need a little sunshine. Although it is a beautiful day out today, it's not too chilly, and uh, I just feel like I need a little bit of sun, a little fun in the sun is what I would like to have. <laughs> Who doesn't like a little fun in the sun, right? I do. Tweezers on this one. Once I already got the other one kind of 
You guys can do it. So there we go. There we go. Got that one. Sorry, I didn't have that already done before we started this, but I'm just going with the flow right here. A little. This is a nice hot pink. This is by Liquitex Basics. Hot pink down the middle there. And then I'm going to top that off with my fluorescent yellow. What I'm hoping for is these colors will blend to give me somewhat of a coral um, mixture with the pink and the and the yellow. And we're gonna make just a tad more with the pink. So. Uh, let's see, and I think I'm gonna go in with a tad bit this um, it's kind of a blue green like a, almost a teal color kind of summery looking there we go I think that is how we're doing this one I'm gonna stop right there with those colors and get my blow dryer out this is a blow dryer that I predominantly use. It is the Drew Barrymore Flower blow dryer. It's got paint all over it now, but it is my favorite for doing this kind of fluid art. So here we go, guys. on my spinner. I'm not sure I like it being on my spinner. I'll make it work. Pretty, so pretty. Look at that. Look, it really is very colorful. It's bright, it's cheery. I am going to now take my paintbrush, the end of it, and I'm gonna have a little fun. I don't want to keep it just like this because I just feel like I want to do a little bit of extras to this one. So, 
let's see where to begin. Um, So I'm going to start manipulating it with the end of my paintbrush like that. Wherever I think it might need a little bit of interest, I am going to do that. This part takes long. It takes some creativity for sure. Using your imagination. Um, and I guess that's where, well, that's what I really do like about this is this is where I can add my own uniqueness to this type of painting. Just adds to it. You don't have to do this step. And this is my own unique style of how I like to do them. See how I'm just dragging my paintbrush through it. That really just gives it just that little bit of extra. See the cells popping in. This, this is super pretty. I'm going to take you down for a close up when I'm done with this. But we've got a ways to go with this portion of it. And I just want you to see a little bit more of how I create this part of it. Can you see that? Can you see the difference? It's really defining it and I just think it adds some interest. I'm trying to think of a name for this portion of what I do. As you know, they have Dutch pour, which is what this was. Now it's a modified Dutch pour, but I'm meaning to create a new name for this portion of it, my signature style of this part of the painting. If you have any recommenda recommendations for what this pour part of the manipulating is, if you have a recommendation what I should call it, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any ideas, I would love to hear it. Maybe one of your recommendations is what 
We'll call it from now on. Who knows? But look at the difference, see? See this whole area? It just really adds more definition to it. Interest. That's what I like to do. Some of them, not all of them, of course, but some of them. When I look at it and say, yep, I'm going to manipulate it. Makes, makes it completely different than when I first started. So if, um, if you guys have any questions for me, if you want to see specific colors, if you want me to commission a piece for your own home, specific colors, reach out to me. You can email me at Tina's inspired art at gmail.com. You can reach out to me and I would love to work with you. I have a website where I post my art and you can purchase directly from my web website and that is Tina's inspired www dot tina's inspired art dot com where you will be able to purchase original art that you see here you can make prints from any of my original art that's online i have all kinds of different merchandise that you can turn the art into like tote bags and printed art. Um, I have canvases that you can print onto. I have mugs, acrylic trays. I have ornaments. I have um, pillows. I have just an array of different kinds of merchandise that any of my art can be printed on there. So have a look at my website. If you don't see anything on there that, as far as colors that you like, or you're wanting to see something different, feel free to reach out because I'm here to accommodate. I'm here to make your walls happy. Put a smile on your walls. That is my little slogan. So um, I would love to work with you. Let me finish up here. And uh, I will then take you down for a much closer look in a little bit. As you can see, this part of the process does take a bit longer, but art doesn't need to be rushed. I want it to look pretty. What I like to look for in all of my art that I do is color combinations, of course, but I really like to pay attention to the composition because it, it 
doesn't have that composition that is pleasing to the eye, it's going to be very difficult to look at, even though it has pretty colors. So composition is a critical element for me to ensure that my art looks good. What a difference this is making with how this is all coming together. This piece looked so different from the beginning to what it looks like now. This really gave it so much more interest. So, there we go, guys. I'm going to take you down for a much closer look, but from afar, it looks pretty good, I think. So, I appreciate you all um, hanging with me through this process, and I hope you like, subscribe, comment, and share um, going forward. Really appreciate you. Bye now. Hey guys, I'm back and I wanted to give you a closer look at this painting we just finished. Take a look at it. Um, look at all the colors and how well they blended together. It looks like a rainbow of many different colors. And as you can see, in a closer view of how I manipulated this with dragging my paintbrush through the overall painting. And it just gives it that much more interest. Look at the colors, how they just popped. What do you guys think, huh? Do you love it? Do you want to see different colors? I know this isn't your everyday colors, but wow. Look how pretty it turned out. I'm really, really excited about it. Okay, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Love y'all. Bye.